Many people toss their fish carcasses to pelicans and other wild birds, thinking that they're giving the bird a treat and that it's better than disposing of the carcass in the trash. Unfortunately, this hurts and can even kill birds, especially pelicans. The filleted carcasses offer limited nutrition to the birds being fed, but also offer real danger to the survival of those birds. They can tear the pelican's pouch, puncture its throat, or become lodged in the pelican's digestive system. The birds are designed to eat small bait fish. The pouch does expand quite a bit. A lot of things go into that pouch. Aside from the fish, there's a lot of water. The throat on the pelican, however, does not expand quite like the pouch. It will expand a little bit, but the further down you get, and then you get to the opening to the stomach, that does not expand at all. Between the, the esophagus, the pouch, and the opening to the, the stomach, it's really, that's really where the, the fish gets stuck. It can get stuck by having the, um, the fins break through the esophagus when the bird is trying to expel it. The larger fish with the larger bones, especially the carcasses, when they fillet the, um, the, the meat off of it and they are fed the bones and the skin, uh, the bones can, from a carcass can go either way, and if they're brittle, um, they can actually rip the throat out. So the bird will, the bird will not survive. Many of these injuries require life-saving surgeries or treatment. A brown pelican was admitted to the Von Arks Wildlife Hospital after it had ingested a large fish carcass. The issue with these carcasses is they have very sharp spines and bones that get caught in the soft tissue of the throat of the pelican. The birds always have to be under sedation in order to remove the fish without causing any further damage. As the fish is worked out, the pelican starts to wake up from the sedative and staff is working to quickly wipe the throat before any fluid that has accumulated in the bird's throat gets regurgitated and possibly aspirated into the pelican's airway. Once the carcass is removed, a full exam can be completed and the extent of damage can be determined. In this situation, the pelican did not suffer any significant injuries except bruising along the throat, which required pain medications and antibiotics. Most of the time, pelicans will be recovering at the hospital after a situation such as this for at least several weeks to a month. If you find a bird that appears to have a fish or carcass stuck in its throat, never try to remove the carcass yourself. You will most likely further injure or kill the bird. Instead, open the Seabird Rehabilitators and Transporters app on your phone to find the closest contact to your location to help or advise you. They will probably ask you to stay with the bird till help can arrive. We need to change our habits and even our traditions, recognizing that the traditional feeding of birds the bony remains of filleted fish catches is actually causing real damage to our birds. Remember when you are fishing, never feed a pelican or other wild bird. Even though the birds may beg for your scraps, it's just not safe to feed them these pieces. Although you enjoy the connection you have with this wild creature and think your actions are essentially harmless, they are not. There are many harmless ways to connect with birds and other wildlife, such as drawing or writing, or participating in beach cleanups or annual bird counts, both of which also have the added benefit of helping to keep the birds alive and in the wild forever. Thanks for watching.